Hey guys, for usual, everything on this channel is for educational purposes only and is not intended as financial advice. So whenever you pull up a harmonic sheet, at the bottom you usually see two patterns, the three drives and the ABCD. So the ABCD is just the first two drives of the three drives. Uh, so you can think of it like that and sort of simplify it for yourself. The reason I don't generally play harmonics is because I find the targets to be ambiguous, the stop loss to be ambiguous. Generally Bitcoin, unless you're super experienced with harmonics, you just get bulldozed. So I generally don't use them. But there is some compelling bear evidence for a nice three drive setup right now. Uh, we did have one recently that didn't work out, but uh, let's run through it. So first of all, ABCD and three drive. I'll put all these links in the description. Babypips.com is a great website for any beginner trader when you're looking for any sort of information. Really basically, you just want to look for three rallies that have the same harmonic and are symmetric. So you can measure these in two ways on trading view, and we'll go through that. The next resource I'd recommend is this Trademo website. Uh, they go through targets pretty nicely. And this video definitely is what I'm emulating for Bitcoin to demonstrate this. So three drives is a leading indicator versus a lagging indicator. So it'll try to predict what will happen way before, way in advance. So I posted this on Twitter a few days ago. Looks pretty good, I think. Now let's measure it out. So this is just a rough. There's a three drives tool on TradingView. Now let's measure it out using some real rules here. So the rules are you look for three drives three rallies, then you check fibs. Make sure you turn on these fibs here. Now, Bitcoin doesn't generally obey every single rule on every single pattern. So you sort of have to massage it a little bit, I think, use a little bit of mental gymnastics here. There are people who trade waves who are gonna just hate what I'm about to say because it doesn't follow everything exactly, but I think it's close enough to where it's worth checking out. So what you wanna first do is measure all these points with the fibs. So you're checking point one to point A, point A to point two, here to here, and then point two to point C. So when you identify the three rallies, you then identify the two dips. So let's measure those out. You can see if you go from one to A, you check uh, whatever fib the reversal happened on. Now I had to turn on a few extra fibs. This is the 2.764. Again, a little bit of voodoo here with the fibs if you're not familiar with the numbers, but just play around with it. So that's 2.764. Keep that in mind. So then we check A to 2 to confirm point C. And you want it to be exactly 1, 0.618 or 0.764. I think if it's between, it's good enough just to confirm the pattern. And then you look at point 2 to point C. And that fib extension should be the same fib extension as point 1 to point A. So if we go back to that, you can see 2.764, 2.764. So although the number itself might be arbitrary, the fact that they match tells me that there's something going on here. And then as far as targets are concerned, I haven't ever really found a great reasoning or website for targets, but generally I think anywhere between 0.618 and 0.764. So your first take profit for this would be the 0.768618. Now I know how that looks right now, uh, but there it is. There's your possible three drives for this big, big move starting, uh, you know, from 2015. Okay. Whether or not it'll happen, I don't know. It's definitely worth following if it does, because it's pretty early on that we'll hit this, should we hit this, you know. Well, the next one I want to discuss is the one that just happened, that just resolved. So initially I, I drew it like this. I didn't follow these rules, um, but since I know about these rules now, let's take a look at how that would have looked. So again, point 0.1 to point A, we get a fib of 2. Again, I'm just turning on random fibs and seeing what fits to that level. I'm not plugging in random numbers necessarily, but definitely different fibs than just 272, 414, and 618. So two, uh, the 2 fib has been established there. Uh, we check this. Uh, now you can see this doesn't reach 618 or 764. So there's two reasons why this may not have been a three drives right there. And then, however, when we go point uh, two to point C, we do get the two fib again, which confirms just like here. So that much is there, but you can see we went up to the 4.618. Again, I'm just turning on random fibs to see what, where the reversal zone was. So your stop would be above the two fib somewhere if you were playing this short. Another interesting thing 
we're kind of hovering around this 0.5 fib of this move. So you can see we're sort of back in this order block again. And then lastly, as far as the, the ultimate target that got hit, you can see the target 0 0.618 to 0 0.764 of the move uh, from here to here is what we hit. I don't know if that's just a coincidence or what, but that did happen. And lastly, just to show you on TradingView where these are, uh, fib retracements here, and then the three drives is here, and ABCD is here. So as usual, like, dislike, subscribe, share. Hit me up on Twitter and Telegram. Happy trading.